right? So when you talk about where to go when you age, you can talk about location or what we would call domicile. Right. Uh, you can talk about the type of community. Um, you, you can talk about you know, the weather that you need. Um, you know, there's all sorts of stuff that's inside of there. So go ahead, Grant. Absolutely. And thanks for teeing that up, Joe. I feel like I should just yell out four to, uh, <laughs> for all those that may get hit by this stray ball we're about to toss in the air. But really, it, it comes down to where is such an important logistical perspective. But one question, Joe, I've seen you do or what seen you ask very importantly inside of a meeting is uh, we had a family come in. They were talking about how they're going to – they're moving out of state. They, they were going to follow grandkids. They needed the sunny weather. It was west, low humidity, good heat. And Joe asked the important question of, so where do you want to be in your tax return? And it – jarred the family they well, what do you mean what do i mean in my tax return joe here's our million and a half dollars just make it work and i we so often get wrapped up in the um the act of your life after work that we forget you have to actually focus on where you want to be from a tax perspective from an investment perspective and so the location matters right so if your dream is to be in florida or arizona or texas or be out there in colorado with the family that's important but like Joe said beautifully, it often does not cost you less to downsize. Um, and for one of my families, Joe, and for one of our families at FEG, it cost her almost $250,000 more to downsize. Yeah, it can be quite expensive. 